what's up guys so uh i have a video on my pillar kit and stuff um this one's the my prototype one so it's not painted and it was the one of the first sets i ever made um the pillar kit involves so you can get that oh shit handle to go on and i have uh gauges on that side but for the pillar on that side and then the pillars back here and then get the seat belt bolted in and just get the pillars working and well um i discovered after you know being in this doing this for at least a minute is a uh, story of cars coming is so these two brackets right here are meant for that are meant for this b pillar um i saw this and i was looking at it and it's pretty cool so it looks like this top part this top part right here holds the headliner down right here this lip you know so this headliner can't go up doesn't matter how much you push it can't go up and then with it being up i always tried to figure out with this is why i could never get these two pieces to click into the cab on the top i could get the bottom one and there's only three on here other than that it bolts on through the oh shit handle and i got this one in other than that i never really got those in but you never notice like this side doesn't have it and you don't really notice you know so i never really bothered with it but you know if we can do it more oem and more 670 why not so uh that's what this video is for um I'm definitely going to look and see if I can get my handful on a bunch of these and just start getting them from junkyards. So if you order a pillar kit, hopefully I can make the kit cheaper. And with getting these, it makes it better. So better and cheaper, you know, it's a win-win. So that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to try to get these too. So the, these definitely help, and I'm about to show you why. Because um, not only can now that piece click in here and right here on the other side of it, it also makes it so this is literally sandwiched to this headliner so on my kit what i've done previously before um let's see if we get some more light in here yeah, it's a little better so like it looks okay but you can see this little gap i have on both sides um i mean it's not even noticeable but um i got the parts so why not throw them in you know but see if you push the headliner up look at that so i can fit my hand in there and then this top piece really isn't clicked into anything and it's not noticeable. I mean, it doesn't really affect anything. But if we could do it right, why not? So I wanted to go ahead and show this to you guys. Um, so I got this one in there. It's just this one sheet metal screw holding it that I screwed in. And it's in there pretty good. You know, it's just a little plastic. Oh, and then it's got, it clips into the couple spots in here. It's kind of hard to, let me focus it. But whatever, it, it slides into these spots up here. So now that we got the headliner up in there and it can't go up, we'll go ahead and just slap this in here. In a, oh, we'll do that one second. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, yeah. So the cool part with this is it literally just, the lip right here, my bad, this on this lip right here locks in to this. So you can get the up and down adjustment just right and then you just bolt it in. Um, you do have to drill a hole right here for this guy. This little little nipple thingy, whatever, a little holder on the bottom. Get this thing to focus. That guy right there. So just drill a hole in the bottom, I think. Um, maybe one right there too. So I'll get them installed and get them in. I just wanted to show them to you guys. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna have to modify something with this because this focus this thing gets in the way too. But 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 for meanwhile, the, this portion's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and try this. I'm gonna install it with one hand and a right foot. Click it in. Click it in. Uh, pull your weather stripping down a little bit. Both sides. And then you'll get those pins to click into your, the plastic piece. And look at that, sucks it right in. And then we'll go ahead and slap the weather stripping back on in the right spot. Oh, there it goes. Nice clicked in. Do both sides real quick. Okay, voila, it's in there. I mean, obviously not my seat belt. I just got to bolt that in there with the slider. But uh, you can see it's it's in there like really tight, like really nice. Like I'm up close up in this thing. 
even you know far away if the sun glare would stop look at that that looks really nice and i can't get in here and push up i know i think that's as most as i can get i'm pushing pretty hard but look at that it's sealed up in there that thing looks beautiful so kind of cool see look my side all flimsy and loose so uh, kind of cool little thing little little extra um if you guys are doing your seat belts this is this is all 11 to 16 stuff you know make sure you get the sliders and stuff so other than is my dog out here i thought i heard someone bark out here but yeah uh other than that i think it's pretty cool so suckers in there even without the oh shit handles look at that those things hold hell yeah god damn oh shit hell yeah that, i mean that's awesome i was wondering how the the new six sevens if i get the sun glare out of the way how the new six sevens got that to work i was like man the cab's different i have to like cut the cab and like weld in a new part i was like Eh, screw it. You don't see it. No one's gonna notice. It doesn't matter. So, what else we got? Other than that, um, my my column kit or my pillar kits are still 250. I'm about to make a bunch of them. That's why I started digging into this to see, you know, how can I make it better. I'm always seeing if I can make stuff better. Um, if you have any ideas or comments, always let me know. So, uh, just don't tell me, hey, what do you think about putting a Mustang center console in with the with the uh, a speed shifter or the speed shifter uh, whatever you know some dumb stuff like oh what do you think about expedition seats it's just like i don't know six seven stuff looks good in here why we gotta fuck it up with some other car parts so i think period correct oem stuff is the way to go but um for the lower part if anyone's asking um the six seven C belts plug right into my O one ones, so then you don't have an airbag light on the C belts. Um, they bolt right in. I think I just had to drill one hole for the the C belt pin to go into the cab. And then um, you can see this is the foam deadener I have in all the pillars. You know anything I can help to make it quieter. And I do have a little bit of spray foam here and there, not much, just a little bit. And then obviously dead and everywhere else, so pretty cool. But this bracket's pretty sweet. If you can give me a hookup on them, that'd be dope. Let's see. Yeah, see how it interferes with my seatbelt one. So and with the seatbelt, um, so you, you have a bolt here and a bolt on the bottom. One's on the floor right there, that gold one. So I usually I put the top one in. But then the bottom one, the distance from here to here is not the same as the old trucks. From here to here is not the same. Um, you can see where it kind of is and needs to be. So obviously the new hole and then the old hole down here. So I just made this little bracket that just stretches apart. Um, you could easily, I mean, you can make your own drill and tap it. It doesn't matter. So, you know, this isn't rocket science, it's just basic geometry and measuring. But other than that, let me think if there's any other questions. The new door seals definitely do make a difference. They're a lot thicker than the old ones. They're a lot nicer. They're like, they're definitely like double walled or something fancy. But they're thicker, they're nicer. Makes a huge difference, I think, on shutting the doors. I'll show you why. So while we're on this topic, door seals and doors. So I'll hear this shut. Ooh. So, I think the key to that is the proper new 6-7 door seals and 6-7 door latches. I still have the same striker though, it's still this 2001 striker. I might get the F-150 with a piece of rubber to see if that even makes it even better. Which I don't know how much more better you can get than this. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> but yeah. Ooh. and then i have new handles on the outside too so yeah buddy um other than that 
If you have any questions, let me know. Drop some comments, I guess. Um, I'm still working on making more videos like this. I think they're educational. I hope you all learn some stuff. Maybe save me some time so I don't have to explain stuff to you guys. But adios. I got a dinner to go to and some parts to build after. Booyah.